Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever channel update type thing. Um, basically this is just going to be a video of me just sitting here chatting to you and you and yes you Dom if you're watching this as well. <laughs> okay so I just want to start the video by saying look at this I got a new microphone it's a blue yeti uh, I've got to be very careful with it but it's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I do have to keep it like in front of me for it to pick up my voice properly. So this is just like a tester video, I guess. Um, just testing it out. Second of all, I'm going to get the bad news out of the way. Um, I think recently I'm probably going to stutter a little bit on the content. So if you don't know, for the last three weeks, I've been doing daily content, which has actually been a great challenge for me. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Sometimes even just playing games and like not forcing, not never forcing myself to react. Like some games I'm just like, oh. Um, but like force myself to play more games and record more stuff, force myself to vlog with friends, which makes me want to do interesting stuff. Um, yeah, so daily content has been happening. And unfortunately, due to recent events, uh, what happened on the weekend, basically, I'm going to be spending a lot of time, a lot of my spare time fixing my car. Now, if you don't know, this is my car. I love it so much. On the weekend, though, I sort of discovered it had a bigger problem than I even thought it had. Uh, which I don't really want to get too into it, but it's going to cost quite a bit of money to sort out. Hopefully, though, um, for the first time ever, I'll be just giving it to a garage. And this is the sad part, and this is what makes me... Uh, it's sort of been playing on my mind, and it is really, really bugging me, okay? So I would like to say I've sort of built my car myself from from start to finish. It, it came as a functional vehicle. We did things like swap, swap the engine. And when I say I built it, I really do mean me and the people around me, as in my friends built it. It's never been into a garage to be repaired or anything like that. I've managed to always fix a problem myself. But unfortunately, this problem that it's got now, to be honest, I could probably fix it myself. And, uh, okay, so the carburetor has gone in it. And I could replace a carburetor, anyone can, with just a like-for-like -like transfer. But because the carburetor has gone, it's really opened my eyes. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to replace it. So that just means I've upgraded what was there to something new unfortunately with that you need custom parts made which again i could get them made by them and then fit them myself however it all boils down to time in roughly two weeks time i've got like a little car meetup thing uh, with a fan page uh, that i have and i cannot turn up to that without my car there's no it's just it's not possible i've been so excited for it like five people might turn up but i'm no way am i going to turn up without my car so unfortunately Right now, literally as we speak, I'm looking for somewhere to take my car and just fix it for me. And I don't know if anyone else has this problem. If you're a car guy, right, just listen, hear me out. When you get used to just always working on your car, always fixing your car, and you get to a stage where you can't or you don't have time, which like I say, is my problem, and you have to hand it to someone else and you are not in control of what's happening to your vehicle. Like you can go there, you can say, okay, so I want this manifold, I want it to look like this, I want the choke cable to run through there, which is basically what I'm going to do, and I want this car re reconditioned. And then they put it all for you, you give, your, you give them one car, and to me it feels like I'm getting back a total different car. It won't be any different, it won't be any faster, it won't be any slower, it'll just be, it'll be my car, but I wouldn't have done that work to it. I wouldn't have seen what they did to it, and I'm really, like, it's just been playing on my mind, like, all day, since it broke. And since since it broke and since I came up with the idea, like, you know, if I need to get this fixed in like 10 days, then I need to get this done now. I need a professional to look at it and just do it. I don't have time to work it out and do it myself. So, yeah, because of that and I'm trying to sort it out as to get it done as soon as possible. It may even some days um, I'm having to like work from home just so I can take my car places to get it done. Um, and even like the next the next week I'm taking a day's holiday and that would be awesome just to cram a day's holiday man and make loads of videos but that'll probably be the day that I pick up my car or go there and like help them or I, I don't know I, I'm not going to help them but you know what I mean just tell them what I want and that just sounds really like it sounds really sad but it just is weird to have something that you've made that you have like pretty much customized to the way you specifically want it um and there's some things i've made exceptions for the black arches i genuinely really hate and people love them but i just put them on so the wheels that i love would fit on them and things like that and 
Like, but I still did that. That was me. No one else did that for me. Like, obviously, the, the tyres got put on by a garage, but I put the wheels on the car. Um, MOTs get done by garages, obviously, but if any work... Okay, my MOT got done, and they said, oh, it's failed because of this problem. I fixed that problem. I then gave it back to them. They MOT'd it. It's just... I've just done everything to my car, and to give it to a garage feels like I'm losing, and it also feels like I'm losing interest, which I know I'm not, but I just feel like... I don't know. I feel like it makes it look like I'm losing interest. When I give up and say you know what here you go take it and do it and and it's going to cost me a lot of money don't get me wrong and I, I just want what I, I want the best if I'm getting someone else to do it I want the best job done and that's kind of what hurts a little bit more it's just like you're going to do it better than I could have ever had but yeah so because I'm going to have to cart my car around and I don't really know who's even fixing it yet um there may be a slight reduction in videos it may go back to two videos um, uh, sorry, one video every two days, but while I can, I'll try and keep it fresh, try and keep it daily, but yeah, that's the only bad news, is that there might be a slight lack of videos, it doesn't mean there's any less effort going into them, it doesn't mean I'm losing interest in YouTube, I freaking love YouTube, on the basis of cars, I'm going to start a new series called, it'll be something like building my dream car, because again, this is very, I'm very much about cars right now, because my car's pooped itself, but it won't be building my dream car because as on it, like as much as I can lie to myself, you know, my car isn't my dream car. It's of course it isn't, but it's a start. You know, you got to start somewhere. You got to get better and better and better. So it is the start of my dream car, I guess. Because one day maybe I'll sell it or crush it and move on to the next thing. So I'm going to start a series called something like building my dream car, and it'll have like everything I do starting from giving it to a garage, or whatever, when I get it back, what it's gone, and then I'll walk you over the car, and then every single little thing I do, I'll, I'll vlog it, but it won't be a vlog, it'll be specifically for this series. However, there won't be regular videos, because I don't modify or change anything on my car every single week, and I'm not going to force myself to either, but I'm just going to put my progress on YouTube, basically, that's what I really want to do, and then have a proper log of it, and it'll just be good, because there's things like, people do things like build threads, where you write down everything, and I've written out a whole build thread of what I've done to my car, and I'm just like, I don't want to put this on the internet, it's boring to just look at a wall of text, I'd rather do it in video form, and like that, so that's coming, new series that I hope is popular, because um, I did like an, a car related, all my car related videos on YouTube seem to actually get views, um, like my vlog, that I recently did about my car almost literally catching fire. Watch that vlog. Seriously, it's scary. It scared the life out of me. It even scared the life out of Richard. We both just didn't know what to do. Um, and yeah, and I went off-roading with Richard. That got loads of views. Just anything that seems to involve cars, people seem to like. So um, it's definitely, it's not really the audience I'm targeting. But um, if people subscribe just for that one vlog about cars or just for that one series i'm cool with that as well like that's fine um but yeah so cars is going to be a big thing on this channel secondly i actually hit 5000 views now i know that's not like much and i said it when i hit like 2000 views like less than a year ago actually um wow that's actually crazy when you think of it like that yeah that's pretty good so i reached like 2000 views um, at the beginning of this year maybe and now we're nearly at the end of the year but not quite and I'm at 5,000 views now if that if you calculate that and blah 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 maths 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 you can cram that all and you work out like I'll be on decent views in in like sort of no time ish but um I do this a lot don't I like what the hell is that but yeah so I'm really proud of that 5,000 views I don't do YouTube for anyone else but me I really do it because I enjoy the outcome of the content I just want other people to see it and yeah like I really I really do YouTube I do YouTube for me did I just say that or did I say I don't do YouTube for me I don't know yeah I do YouTube for me so it's for me specifically um for my enjoyment for my fun I think even my friends that would agree like Dom would say once I've edited a video I'm like it doesn't even matter that he does Dom's not interested in gaming content that's fine but some gaming videos I edit and I'm just like, Dom, can you please watch this? Because I'm really proud. Like recently, um, inspired by a YouTuber called Umpaville, and you should check him out. Like seriously, I freaking love him. But I've started putting my uh, camera in like a circle and it just, there's just so much more expression in a, in a different shape. Um, I've also started putting my camera, if it's in a square, in a, like a little border type thing in the corner. And it's just little things like that. Um, the other day I filmed a 
20 minute video and it took me three and a half hours to edit it and I think it's got like five views but I don't care because five people have watched it or maybe three people have watched it and two people have refreshed or something like that but yeah I just get really overly hyped about the stuff that I create I'm just really excited about things like that I just feel like it's a good way of learning a good way of venting um and my editing time is like when I'm alone on a train or not alone full of strangers but when I'm on a train on the way from work work the way home from work and it's just really nice just to sit down chill play around my laptop hope it doesn't die and yeah I just really enjoy editing um to the point where I just like I'm starting to think like maybe I could do that as like a side thing for YouTube so like instead of editing videos that are just mine maybe try and make a little bit out of it you know or not even make a bit out of it. I just I don't know I just really want to know what it's like to edit other people's stuff as well as mine maybe I'll do like a um maybe Dom maybe I'll speak to Dom and do like a channel swap where he edits mine and I edit his and I edit in my style he edits in his style because like even some of Dom's editing I watch back and I'm just like oh man like I don't know I couldn't pull that off or whatever so yeah um maybe that's coming I don't know as for the future of my channel, I'm just really wanting to do YouTube forever. And whether that means I have a full-time job and do YouTube, like, I'm not trying to make a living out of YouTube, It like, right now. In, like, 10 years' time, maybe not 10, maybe, like, 5 years' time, it might get you too much or whatever. My, new, my current job, you know, every single, not every day, but, like, the longer you're in a job, the more responsibility you get and the more workload you can take on and feel comfortable taking on. And I'm not going to let YouTube hold that back, of course. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, I can't do that. I'm filming YouTube videos. So, yeah, but like maybe in like five years' time, it'll have to calm down or I have to go the other way. And then maybe one day, um, this is like extremely, I find this really unrealistic thought. Sometimes people just like, they go on YouTube and they're just like, oh, you know, I'm going to make a living out of it. It's easy. And it really isn't. I see people, the people that make a living out of YouTube really, really work hard at what they do. And I don't think I can match to that. So right now, YouTube really isn't in my, like, main aspiration of a job or anything. Um, again, like, it would be cool, but it's not the reason I'm doing this. It's n honestly, and I just, I don't know why I feel like I need to justify that, but I just feel like a lot of small YouTubers make YouTube just to make money. Um, and it's not about that. It's really not. It's about having fun. So yeah, if I ever did get bored of it, we'd have to kiss it goodbye. Um, yeah, I think, I do think that sort of wraps it up. I mean, I'm going to carry on doing gaming content. I really want to start, um, like knuckling down on some, some playthroughs because I just can't stick to one game. Mafia 3 is a game that I was able to stick to until one of my f um, recordings like sort of corrupted. It works, but it doesn't, but then it does, but then it doesn't. It's so weird. So I want to try and fix that recording before I record the next episode. Um, otherwise I'll just do like a catch up type thing and just be like, oh, so this is what happened, blah, 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 blah. But that's a game I really want to play to the end. Again, not a really, like, it's not massively popular on my channel. Um, so it's not going to get me loads of views. But I don't know. I just, it's just that target, isn't it? Setting yourself a target. I really want to finish that game. I might not. Forza Horizon 2 was a really bad example of a playthrough. I did two, I think. I really enjoyed the game. But if you know anything about computers, um, I actually had to upgrade to Windows 10 to get it to work. And then it plays on this, um, on a thing called DirectX 12. And my recording software only records up to DirectX 11. So then I have to like record my whole screen and crop bits out. And it's just really awkward to actually do. Um, and it always ends up lagging or something. I don't know. It's just a very demanding game to record. I don't, but then actually I think I fixed that. Because I turned off the um, like the Windows game recorder or something like that. It was a really crappy system. But yeah, I want to do more live streams as well. Um, I made a few buddies through live streaming. Mark... And Ashley and yeah I really need to get back into live streaming because that's really fun but since I've been doing daily content it's sort of slowed down a little bit um, but City Skylines is a game I'm going to be playing on live stream soon as so probably as soon as I've got my car off to the garage or something and I can just sit back chill and just be like home so yeah um, Ashley Mark if you do end up watching this I will live stream. We've even got like a private chat that we just talk in all the, well, all the time as much as we can. We never seem to be online at the same time. But it's just really weird how you just make friends like that. Really weird. Anyway, I am going to wrap it here because I've been rambling a lot. I like to be able to vent my updates. Again, it goes back to the whole thing. No one might watch this, but I'm the one that gets to edit and say, you know what? Remember I said that I was going to do that car series? Remember I said I was going to do more live streams? It's, it's a note to myself rather than a note to anyone else. And anyone else that's watching it, 
will just know what's coming to my channel and they'll either be like, oh, you know what, I'll subscribe to this guy or, oh, Kieran's content sounds really shit, unsubscribe. But don't, don't. If you're going to unsubscribe, just comment down below as to why. And if you stumbled across this video and you're just like, why am I even watching this? Just let me know down below. Um, why, are, why? Why are you watching this? That, that's a bit, you shouldn't. No, you should. Hit thumbs up. Uh, I don't know why I even just said that. Anyway, I'm really sorry about this mic thing in the way here, but it is the best microphone I've ever owned. I've done one playthrough on it, and I freaking love it. It still picks up my p -p -puzz, um, which is quite annoying, but I need to get a better one of these muffler things. Maybe just a windbreak like right here. Um, and just I'm going to have to shout a little bit because it's going above me edge. This thing here, the way it sits on this, uh, this arm, is really bad. They sell a, another adapter type thing for it and that just um that takes out all the vibration and stuff but it's quite expensive so i'll probably wait just a little bit before i get that but yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed if you did end up watching the whole video do leave a thumbs up because clearly you liked it if you disliked it why the hell did you come this far seriously <laughs> if you like the video hit thumbs up if you like my videos go and hit subscribe more coming soon i will release another update video like in like two months time yeah two months from today maybe there'll be another update video and you'll be able to know so if you're unsure of what i'm doing right now come back in two months and there'll be another thing and i'll be like oh guys i won the lottery oh my god anyway if you like my videos hit thumbs up i'm gonna i've already said that actually i'm just gonna say it again anyway if you like the video hit thumbs up if you like my videos go and hit subscribe and i'll see you Very creepy, I'm sorry.